Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for love. Ah, yes. So if you love tarot, you like to know what's going on, and you're a Gemini, or you know a Gemini, this place is for you. We're right here. We're here. We're doing this. All right. So the way these readings are going to go is we're going to go into a general like what's going on upstairs then we're going to break it down into an oracle break it down into general in love singles couples all sides it will be time stamped so you can skip and move around as much as you want or come back and watch it now if you're new to my channel where have you been friend i've been waiting for you come hang out with me come on over to instagram on tuesdays for happy hour from 5 30 to 6 p.m central standard time because we do readings and we give away free readings there too and it's a beautiful community over there so if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Ew, because you need it, Gemini. You need it. So let's jump into this reading. Let's see what's going on. On the fourth, we start off with the new moon in Leo. Happy Leo season. Call a Leo. I'm a Leo. Give him a happy birthday. All right, 12 degrees. So this is about new things coming in individually and in partnerships. And you are focused on beauty. The beauty that you possess, the beauty of the world. You are just really focused on changing your aesthetic. Also, you might be changing your look, changing the way that you are. But baby, you looking fabulous, all right? Now, Venus also enters into Virgo on that day. So you are really paying attention to the details okay when it comes to money and love now on the fifth mercury retrograde i know everybody dreads it but i think it's a great thing sometimes we got to slow down we got to check ourselves we got to make sure that we are readdressing reassessing and reconnecting only where it needs to be done right and it's going to be four degrees virgo four is a very foundational number we're focused on what we're doing and virgo is focused on the details so good energy coming in and then on the 14th a little slidey roo it's going to go into leo and um might make things a little spicy okay now on the 19th, we have the full moon in Aquarius. Ah, ah, Aquarius. Yes, we do. And you are finding, finding out. I think there's like a lot coming out for you this month. Like you're really getting some revelations. And you're actually finding that you're fucking amazing. Okay. Now, also on that day, on the 19th, we have a square. Okay. And a square is a challenge. And so we have... Jupiter and Gemini, 17 degrees, and Jupiter wants to expand and make those big things happen, and it's squaring Saturn, 17 degrees Pisces, and it's making us really look at the structures, the rules, the boundaries, and how we want to move forward and what we need to do. So, your message with that really has to do with your affirmation, affirmations, affirmations, baby, affirmations, okay? What are you saying about yourself? Are you really finding the beauty within you? Are you really realizing the power that you possess, all right? So, that is your message for that. And then on the 21st, it's my birthday, yeah, turning 44, big baby, so... A lot of people always ask, what can I send you for your birthday? You can send me a happy birthday, friend. Just send a happy birthday. Send me a shout out. Watch my video. Thumbs up it. Or if you like, I will put a link in my link tree and you can go to my Amazon page. Or you can just whatever. Send me a happy birthday, guys. It's my B day. I'm be 44, baby. Now, on the 22nd, it's Virgo season. <laughs> Wish a Virgo a happy birthday, all right? On the 28th, Mercury goes direct, 21 degrees Leo. Now, when Mercury goes direct, we're still getting a little shady things going on. And when I say shady, it could just mean like maybe our communication is a little bit wonky. We messed up on a text message. We sent a message that shouldn't have been sent to the wrong person or we screenshotted it and sent it to that person. I would be like, oh, I just wanted to show you what you sounded like. And inside I'm like, eek. <laughs> <laughs> on the 29th, Venus enters into Libra, so they're going to be looking hella fight good. Anytime Venus is in your sign, baby, you just shining. You're looking good. You're smelling good. And you're amazing. So, so far, we have the dates of the 1st, the 2nd, the 10th, and the 28th coming out for you. We will keep going on as we move forward. Now, when it comes to your to your rune for this month, you have Degas, okay? So this beautiful energy right here, it's a new day, it's a new dawn, baby. We're moving forward, okay? Balance, cycles, hope, clarity, secrets, 
will be revealed, okay? The animal tied to this is the deer, and I just finished doing the Taurus read, and so they had a lot of deers popping up in theirs. So I don't know, maybe you're gonna find something out about a Taurus. We don't know, let me know. The color for this is light blue. The herb for this is clary sage, and it's used for relaxation and anxiety and to get rid of confusion. Great for the third eye chakra, okay? Like for meditation to get the answers that you need and the clarity to move forward. But there's a new day, baby. And and Gemini said, look at me, okay? Look at me, I'm amazing. Now, Chiron is coming out for you as a message. There is a lot of deep healing going on. Pay attention to where your Chiron is in your chart, but this is also with beauty coming out, finding and affirmations. We are healing the way that we talk about ourselves and the way that we see ourselves. And we're emerging, because you have the snake twice here, I feel like we're shedding our skin and we're really ready to show the world who we are, all right? There's also a lot of kundalini energy with the snake. Now, your animal energy is no other than la be what I be what I de la ma. It's a snake, friend. What's going on? <laughs> like, what's really going on, friend? Now, live accordingly to divine essence. So a lot of people try to put a negative connotation. Yes, the snake can represent someone's trying to be sneaky. However, we know the secret's about to be revealed. But this could be about you metamorphosizing, coming out of your skin and becoming the new version of yourself. Now, your message in love is that of the Oracle of Delphi, okay? And this is, trust your intuition, baby, you was on fire, okay? The first house also represents the way that you, you show up in the world and the way people see you. And so you're actually a little bit psychic this month. Like, trust your intuition is moving you in the right direction. You do know, you do know what the hell is going on, Gemini, okay? Now... This is the part of the read where we do a yes or no question. I'm using the real talk tarot. What? Given to me by my niece. I love you, Steeny. So, let's see. Overall energy is the Ten of Wands. You got a lot of baggage here, and that's why Chiron is coming out. Chiron said, relax, relate, release, baby. We got to get it all out now. So, for question number one, it is going to be... I know for me, we've got the nine of swords. Look, you feel very much under attack. You're trying to get all the information. It's going to be a no for me. For question number two, we got the knight of wands. That's a yes! <laughs> do that crazy thing you want to do. Go have fun and do it fast, baby. All right, so that's what I have for you. Let's jump into our general reading. So, let's see. What do we got here? What do we got for our general reading? What's going on for our beautiful Gemini? Gemini's pets are very important. That card just flew out. So maybe you're talking about getting a pet with your lovey. Okay. Maybe you just want to have a pet. I don't know, but pets are in the future. Okay. Making room for the new beginning. It's on its way to you. Let go. Okay. Of a liar. Ah, that's the truth. All right, so be careful. Someone is being sneaky and cautious. Get more information. We need more information before we start making all these damn dirty decisions, okay? <sighs> Mentiroso. <laughs> Let's see, what does the pets have for us? What does the pets have for us? Heartbroken, we're deeply sad. So sometimes, you know, we get pets with our lovers or we get pets with a partner. And some of y'all may be having to leave that pet behind or you may have lost your pet. And I'm really sorry because that is like losing a family member. Hmm. And you're really sad over a breakup, too. For some, get the parts that fit. It ain't for everybody, okay? What are we letting go? New beginnings, confirmation. It's a coffin. You shut that stuff up and put it six feet under, okay? We, this might be a tragic ending, okay? That's what it says. Tragic endings, but we're free. The liar, liar, pants on fire. Stability and security, growth and endurance. We did not see what they promised come to flourishing and we're moving forward. And the caution car said, backstabber. Okay, so we got a liar, backstabber, deception, lies. Okay, <laughs> what is going on? Gemini, never. So let's see, what is our general message here? I hope they ain't taking the pet either, okay? Y'all you know, remember on that movie, um, and she said, I'm taking the dog. What was that? Um, I just know she wore a lot of pink. She was a lawyer. Oh my gosh, it's gonna kill me. I used to love that movie. Anyways, she was saying, I'm taking the dog. <laughs> That's like the best part of it. 
Anyways, what do we have going on? It might come to me. We got the King of Cups coming through. We got a love offer. We got someone who wants to make it happen, Captain. We want to. Can we talk for a minute? Somebody has been thinking about you. They want to talk to you. <laughs> but I don't know. Nine of Wands. <laughs> I don't know. Two of Cups. Okay, we got a partnership, a relationship going on. We got two people happy. And then we have the outcome of the King of Swords. Overall energy, it's that Ten of Wands. And so I really feel like this has been a very heavy situation for you. It's something that's been very difficult. So I do think somebody wants to come forward. Somebody wants to uh, talk about it, okay? They do want to talk about it. I don't know if you really do want to talk about this because this is like something that really bothers you, okay? Let's just look at this Nine of Wands real quick. Okay, the Three of Pentacles. Like, look, you worked really hard to move on. You worked really hard to get through this. And some of y'all did move, okay? Double nine. If you haven't moved, you might be thinking about it, all right? Two of Cups. Some of y'all got to choose between the King of Cups and the King of Swords, baby. Two of Cups with the Four of Cups. Disillusioned a little bit. We're not sure how we feel. So trust your intuition. And the King of Swords is holding on tight to his coins, okay? He's holding it close to his chest. Mm -hmm. One more with the Nine of Pentacles. I think, oh, and the Nine of Cups. So there's a lot of nines in your read. You could be seeing the number 999 quite a bit. 99999, okay? However, I do feel like there is a complete ending for something, whether this is with work, whether a friendship or a relationship. We're done. We're done. We have seen all we needed to see, and we're ready to keep it moving, okay? We're letting go of a liar. Boy's a liar, okay? So, and backstabber. Damn! Damn, Gemini! Mm, they don't know who they're playing with, okay? <laughs> I'm a Gemini rising. Rising! All right, let's see here. This is a part where we're going into our singles. Singles and ready to mingle, Okay. Remember, if you like this, be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> so, we got a confession. I told you you were about to find something out. This is my confession. Ew, someone has something to tell you, baby. Commitment. What? Can we get married? We ain't getting no younger. With Jagged Edge said, we ain't getting no younger. We might as well do this. Now, nah, baby, don't come at me like that. You better be like, you are the love of my life, and I cannot have anything else but you. I love you. And caution. Uh-oh, we got the three C's. Confession, commitment, and caution. Whoo! Oh, my. We might be dealing with somebody with the letter C. But first, let's take a vacation, all right? So, we have somebody who wants to come forward. They want to say something to us. Ooh. This is like, um, like shocking news. Like, I feel like you're going to be blown away. I'm super excited. A date. Somebody wants to go on a date with you. Someone's going to tell you something on a date. And it is time for you to start dating if you're not. Okay, Gemini? Put yourself out there, baby. You're sexy. Go for it. Commitment. What's going on? Blowing kisses in the wind. Ow. Unconditional love and affection is being returned. Whew. And why do we have in caution with? Oh. Ho, ho. Ha, ha, ha. A love bomber. Okay. Be careful. Make sure that it's not just a one-sided re relationship. And then some might be going to Arizona or something. Somebody's in Phoenix, Arizona. I know that's not what the card means, but I looked at the vacation card with this. Um, you're in a new phase. You're changing your mind about something too. So let's get into it, okay? Like my boy Sloan says. Y'all, I love me some Sloan, okay? He really like Let's get into it. I'm always like, let's do it. I'm getting ready in the morning, getting ready for the tea, baby. I need to know Sloan. And he's so cute and adorable. I love him. Great personality. So let's see here. Here you are as a page of wands, throwing yourself back in the mix. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Okay, Gemini's ready to play today, okay, with the higher fit. So, and that's probably right by the commitment card and blowing kisses. So I really feel like some of y'all could be... Effing around and finding out. Somebody's going to fall in love with you. Damn it to hell. And you're just like, mm, I don't know. I think I really want to, but I'm not sure. <laughs> we are going to be making that final decision. And very much to ourselves right now about what's going on. 
and we have the four of pentacles overall we are also keeping our finances very quiet we're also like very focused on what's mine is mine and what's yours is yours and so stay back all righty it's time to break it down so what does this page of wands suggest page of wands we have the nine of pentacles what who are you cutting off who are you getting cut there's a move four of pentacles you're not enthused about this you want something new ace of pentacles so i do believe that someone you have cut off in the past does want to come back you're not going to be into it okay you're going to be like mm, here we go again same shenanigans but i want something new <laughs> i want something new told you new chapter we want something new we want something delicious and we want something good okay so the hierophant you want a higher connection with the hierophant here in the middle of your read so you're taking your time we got the moon definitely got some moves going on we got the wheel we got a trip baby we got a trip where are we going where are we going and then we got the devil so the hierophant with the devil I want to say, like, if somebody comes in and offers you a trip, like, there's strings attached. Okay? There's some strings attached to that one, damn it to hell. And you need to be very careful of the road you go down. Because they're presenting themselves as like, oh, I'm so good. I'm a lover. Da -da 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 -da. Woo! Woo! Reveal. You're about to find out the truth, okay? And it's going to overwhelm you. And you're like, wait a minute, this may not be for me. This may, this may not be my, my king <laughs> or queen. All right, four swords. What do you got here for us? We got the ace of cups. We're going to hold out for real love. Where is Mary J? Real love. We're going to change. We're going to make the changes. Transformation. Okay, we're healing. So we're definitely leaving a situation that makes us go into some, I would say, spiraling. Have you ever been with somebody <laughs> and they bring out like all of the shady parts of you? You're like, damn, I thought that was healed because remember Chiron came out too. So you might be a little triggered this month, all right? Hmm. Hmm. All right, Gemini, let's see what are we making a decision about. We got a King of Pentacles in the house, the Knave of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. The question is, what do you really want, desire? How can you grow? What are you doing? What is the damn deal? King of Pentacles, what's your message? Secrets. I think there is someone who has their eye on you, okay? I haven't told you everything I got to tell you, baby. The Knave of Wands says, I'm struggling to find the right path. So you might have someone who's really like into you and they're very established. I would say a little bit of a zaddy energy. They know what they want. They know how they want it and they're good at it. And then you have like a Knave. And the Knave is like a page. Um... And they know they kind of want to end up with you, but they kind of want to end up with a couple of other people along the way, too. And they kind of make you an option. So who do you want to grow with? You could be with a Virgo, right? Because we have that hermit energy right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, the hermit. Seven of Wands. Watch your back, baby. Ew. Okay, watch it. The chariot. Somebody is a damn dirty liar. We got the double seven. And then we have the ten of cups. So... Somebody does want to get married. Somebody wants to take the relationship to the next level. You could also be seeing the number 444 and 999 for confirmation. I do think you have gone on a trip. You're planning a trip. You're going to find something out. Damn it, you're going to find something out, and I want to know. Leave it in the comments or email me, okay? I love I love hearing from y'all. Anyways, there's a new chapter. Don't get, don't get caught up in the drama, okay? Don't get caught up in this drama. But I do got to pull on the lie. I got to pull on this lie. What is, what is the lie about? Indecisive. I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. I think that's from the knave. <sighs> but I haven't given up. This is a game of cat and mouse, okay? This is runner chaser kind of vibe. But we have too many different values and you have the ten of cups. So you are really looking and you're going to feel this one. Because I think you really wanted it to work with that little young and little young minded one. Because they probably look really good and they're a lot of fun. But this energy that you're bringing in is different. You want something new. You want something exciting. And you're going to go for that. Okay. And so I just kind of feel like with the Hierophant and the Devil situation with the moon and the wheel right in the middle. Like all these majors in the middle. And this is the focus of your love. It's like you need to start seeing things for what they are. 
Sometimes we'll be like, I don't know, I just, I just really love them. Do you really love them? Or do you just love what they could be? I don't know, like sometimes I have to sit with myself like, do I really love this person? I don't know, what does love look like? How do I really feel? You gotta check in with yourself. Cause sometimes it feels really good to be love bombed. Okay, I have ADHD, so if you love bomb me, I'm like, ah, oh, they're the greatest. They give me so much attention. And then I'm like, oh, that was not nice what they just did to me. <laughs> So you have to be very aware of what you're falling for. But I do think that you'll be going out on a date. Someone is going to make a commitment to you. Be very aware that there is another lingering energy that wants to come through. And you have got to play it smart, okay? I'm not saying don't, don't have fun. I'm just saying play it smart. Okay, give us clues on this person who, from the past. From the past, what do we have? What do we have? What's going to happen? We have third party, okay? They put you in a third party, but they won't talk about it. Can we talk? And now they have to take care of their responsibilities. You have to take care of your responsibilities. But they're like, oh, we need to talk because we got some unfinished business. And um, I want to resolve this. So clues on what they might say or what they're thinking. I need to tell you the truth. There's the confessions. I don't know how to handle my emotions right now. Damn, Skippy. I want a future with you. Okay, and that falls right with this card. What is, what is that? Don't play with my heart, okay? And I want to apologize and I need your forgiveness. I've been working on myself. I'm not who I used to be. I'm not the same anymore. And you're always on my mind. I don't want to be toxic anymore. However, that does not mean that they aren't. <laughs> <laughs> and I laugh because I be saying, I don't want to do that no more. And then I find myself doing it. Oh, damn. So just be very careful with that person who wants to come in with that devil energy, with a nice little offering that they have with their rutabaga. Because, baby, uh, old habits die hard, okay? So let's get a description. How does this new person or King of Pentacles vibe guy or girl look like? What do they look like? What, what, what can we expect? All right, what can we expect? We have the journals. So they can wear glasses or contacts. Be very studious. I do believe they have a secret crush on you. That's definitely what I'm getting. Secret crush, okay? They got some long legs and a long nose. And I always say it. The longer the nose, the bigger the holes, baby. Okay? There's some good loving. They got a big chest, all right? What energy is that? I think it's Gemini. Long legs, tall, slender, Gemini. Yo. Okay, then we got the Aquarius vibe over here with the beady, beady eyes. I love beady eyes. They're like teddy bear eyes. Okay, and this is the energy of the birds. They have a very distinct voice. There is something about this person's nose. Okay, oh, y'all, yeah. I pierced my nose um, with my daughter the other day. It hurt <laughs> a lot. And then we have the ring, okay? So this person has a round face. They're very fair looking, fair skinned. They're just tan lindas, okay? Tan lindos, okay? They're very, very good looking Libra energy. All right, tall, long arms, long legs. I just think there's something about their legs and their nose. Definitely getting that. <laughs> My kind of person. All right, let's get some clues. What can they expect? What can they expect from my beautiful Geminis? Geminis! What the, ooh! Hey, Mr. DJ! They like music. You guys have music in common. All right. There is something about their legs, okay? Damn it to hell, there's something about their legs, and there's something about the 17th and 18th, okay? The owl says, we can meet online. We love, they love to talk. There's going to be a lot of texting. Um, some, there's something about the number 333, three, three, okay? Because it's 33 and the owls is a 12, which comes to a 3. And the ring says, can we go to brunch? I love brunch, okay? <laughs> there's going to be a lot of texting, a lot of communication. This is like, and there's something about their legs, okay? Their legs. Secret crush. What do we got? What is their initials? Or what's some letters in their names? We got a T for Tommy, Titania, Theodore, Q for Quentin. I got nothing. P for Pablo, Petey Pablo, Priscilla. And we got an I for Ivan. One more, one more. And a G, okay? Um for uh, Glorilla, <laughs> no, for, um, I don't know what name with the, Georgina, all right, it's my grandma's name, 
Anyways, a George might be in the mix with some long legs and a nice, nice nose, right? Those are always positive things. Okay, so just a little bit of clarity for you this month. What else does Gemini need to know? Gemini, what do you need to know? You're healing. You're moving forward. There's something about the seventh also. I've seen a lot of sevens in your read. Anxiety. That 18 going to make you nervous, okay, about a broken heart. You're moving on from this. You're healing from this. You're also making your house your own, like uh, your house a home. Your abundance is going to be getting better. And you're getting rid of those attachments with that broken heart. <sighs> That's why we need the sage, baby. <laughs> we need some clarity. We need some affirmations. We're working on rebuilding ourselves, okay? So this is the part of the read where we get into couples. Couples. What's up, couples? These are people that know they together. They know they together, baby. All right, let's see. We got caution. Cuidado, okay? Love spell. Ooh, we're going to have to get into this one, baby. You've been bewitched and moving. There's a move in, move out, moving on. Somebody is moving. And overall, we got a guardian angel watching over you, Gemini. Aw, a lost loved one is watching over you because you're precious to them, all right? Mm -mm -mm. So, I'm going to go with this deck. What do we need to find out more information about when we're not overworking ourselves? About our abundance. Positive mindset. We're manifesting. Um, gratitude. Stay in an attitude of gratitude. Love spell. What's up with the love spell? A new phase or rekindling. You might be doing a fresh thing like you're just doing for yourself. You're, you're picking yourself up. You're loving yourself more. And you're moving on from someone who put you in a third party situation. Okay, so there's a lot of healing coming in for Gemini's. Okay, looking at the bottom, third party. <laughs> like, oh, I think we're done with the third parties. We're good. Okay, and then I have the lovers here. So, yes, we are ready for love. So, what is Gemini's person thinking? What is their partner thinking? Hotness, Ace of Wands, good loving body rocking, knocking boots all night long, okay? They love it, they like it, they want some more of it, they're excited, they can't get enough, okay? Look at that little hand, like, it's mine, all right? They're thinking about making a major decision, okay? So we got the judgment card, we got the trash can pandas in the house, okay? And how do they see Gemini? How do they see Gemini right now? The Six of Pentacles. They really feel like you're... You will do what they do, like you match them, okay? You're like, oh, okay, they're like, oh, I'm used to people chasing me a little bit more, I think. <laughs> and they're taking their time, Knight of Pentacles. But I, I love the way he's holding that coin, like, that my coin. <laughs> he's so cute. All right, what comes between y'all? Three of Swords. So, remember, this is a general read, and Three of Swords does not necessarily always mean cheating, but someone is definitely hurt, okay? This is gonna hurt her knee. This goose, this geese, whatever, she is heartbroken, and she don't like it. Okay, so I'm going to be sad to the Three of Pentacles, okay? There's that 333. Three, three. Overall energy, you're just, just taking it all in. You're just relaxing. You're just like, no, we can't do this. Like, I'm going to take a nap. Gemini said, I do not want to engage in this. Okay, what's going on with this Ace of Wands? It's hot. It's heated. It's the Ace of Cups. Somebody wants to get married or have a contract with you. Or you could work with this individual, you know? Hmm. I like it. Justice. 1-1-11-11. One, one, so, some of y'all have met a soulmate, okay? Or a swolemate. I don't know. One of the two, right? And they, they really like you. They want to move the relationship to the next level. Yeah, Six of Swords. They want to, it's just easy, breezy, beautiful with you. The 26 could be important. Okay. Just nice and easy. But Knave of Pentacles. Okay. There is some immaturity involved in this relationship. Maybe after a night of drinking or overindulgence in something. But they do see you as long term commitment with the Four of Wands. <laughs> Even though they had this swinging and having a good time. Okay. Six of Pentacles, what do you have for us? The Four of Pentacles. Do they think you're bored? Yeah, they think you're bored. Nine of Cups. After a trip, possibly, or y'all want to go on a trip, and they think you're bored. Gemini, you get bored. 
It's that ADHD probably. The Knight of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. Sometimes they're afraid that they're moving too slow. They like you a lot. That you're their empress. Okay. Oh, Five of Pentacles. Okay. Some of them are moving really slow because they're getting their finances in order. They do want to move to the next level with you. This is what they want, need, and desire. But I feel like they've been holding back, and I feel like they're hiding something. Someone is hiding something. And that's not for all of y'all. So if that ain't your story, just, just ignore me. We'll get to the next part. They miss the old uh, way, uh, your inside jokes. They miss the way things used to be. Um, they feel a little unappreciated. And they're struggling to get over something from the past, okay? And they feel like they're sabotaging the relationship. And this is a story I get for some. Some of y'all have really great jobs, very great careers, because that Three of Swords by the Three of Pentacles by the Knight, and maybe your partner doesn't have as great as a job as you, and they kind of miss when y'all were a little more equal, okay? I do feel like they're like, God, I don't even feel like I'm appreciated anymore. Or that's how you're feeling, okay? This Three of Swords, she is screaming, okay? There's the sun. So whatever you are asking in your head, it's a yes. We're going to start fresh. We're going to start new. And you got day, guys, and that's a new day because we don't even talk anymore. Not for all. Okay? Not for all. There is something about a night of drinking. Somebody says some stuff. They just can't get over, and that's not for everybody, okay? And it's like, mm, yeah, not today. What does this Three of Pentacles say? What does this Three of Pentacles say for them? Yeah, Knave of Chalices. Someone's really hurt about this. High Priestess. I'm going to trust my intuition. I'm cutting you off and I'm taking my keys back. Okay? I told you, cutting you off. I'm, I'm doing it my way. After a tower moment. Okay, so this is the vibe that I get. I feel like your partner, and this isn't for everyone, there's somebody who is very upset about a financial decision. They feel like they can't meet you where you're at because you're above them or you feel that way. Then there's also this, this feeling of like you're so bored with me. I feel like you don't even want me anymore. And that could be their own pain and hurt. Then there's this story of someone just feels like you're everything they want. And they almost make you feel suffocated. <laughs> like Gemini. What's going on? So let's see what's going to bring some balance to the situation, okay? And remember, if this is not your situation, this is somebody who's really trying to make a decision about how they want to move the relationship forward. I'm going to say be very careful drinking or whatever it is you do to unwind because I do feel like a lot of information is going to be shared and you're not going to be with it, okay? You're not going to like it. All right, let's close off this love message for you guys. What 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 is, what can they expect? What what is the solution? So we have information with the letter coming in. There's some form of a contract. There's also something from the government that you might be hearing about, okay? Or a contract like let's get married. There's the man, okay? And then there's the house. There could be something about getting a house, purchasing a house. Somebody didn't have as much money as they thought they were going to have for the house. And there's something about taking the key, okay? Something about changing the key. You're getting new information. There is going to be something that comes forward. You're going to find something out. However, you the house is about stability. And it could simply be about your house. But with the key, let me pull on that key. And that has the 33 on it, okay? So I forgot what I said about the 333. But if you remember, there's confusion about an overbearing situation financially so there's a little bit of some financial confusion that could be causing some problems in the relationship okay so let's get you an oracle read let's get some hope in a situation i think your finances are going to be really good but i don't know about theirs okay but we're a team right we're a team maybe i don't know there's that contract. So I do believe there's a contract. There's some kind of forms that are going to be signed. You got the coin, boo. Okay. Huh. You've been praying about it. And you are going to get that victory. You are going to get what you want. And you are, you appreciate the journey. You're like, look, you need to appreciate what you got here. Okay. Okay. And they're going to meet you with it. Can you meet me halfway? You guys are like mirroring each other's energy in this relationship. Man with the coin, woman with the coin, okay? But we got to appreciate it. We got to appreciate each other. We got to say thank you, okay? Use your words, friend. Use your words. So that's what I have for you, sunshine. Let's get into all signs. This is the part of the reading. My goodness, I just straightened out these cards. 
Um, this is a part of the reading. I don't know what I did. I think when I straightened them out, I put them crooked. Sometimes I'm watching a video or listening to music or talking to my child. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute, these cards aren't all going the right direction. So I am using the Babylonian Tarot. These cards are the first cards I ever read with, okay? Absolutely love these cards. They have wonderful history, parts of the story, a lot about creation. But I like to use these when we do the signs because it gives me a little bit more of like maybe what's going on, okay? So, days to remember, the 1st, the 2nd, the 7th, the 9th, the 10th, the 17th, 18th, and 28th. So, we got some decisions to make, okay? Definitely got some decisions to make. We want to move forward. There's a lot of action because we have the 7 of Wands and the 3 of Wands. We're at a moment in time. What's going on, Gemini? I need to know. I want to know. I want to know. All right, let's see. Are we ready? Are we ready? Yes, we got a six. Okay. Here you are, my love bug. You're a justice. You're standing in honor. All right, that's you, Jemmy. And Aries is a little bit discombobulated. It feels like the relationship. You're very fair, and I feel like they lost their temper. This is also a situation of not feeling secure. And I think this could be dealing, uh, they're coming forward towards you. They're coming towards you, okay? And they want to win. And you're like, no, nope, you can't win. The third could be important. You're not talking, and Taurus is trying to create solutions, okay? The solution is we're praying to our spirit guide. I feel like Taurus wants to fix something. They learn from their mistakes, and they're ready to work on the relationship, okay? And your lucky day is the 19th. Okay, here you are. You don't want to be single anymore. Nine of Pentacles reversed. You don't want to do it alone. And the other Gemini feels like you're trying to control them. And we're praying about it. Ooh, there's a lot of prayer in your life right now. Okay, ooh. Cutting out separation, stopping the pattern. So I feel like y'all are just like not seeing eye to eye. Five of Pentacles, there could have been some really harsh words said. This is the part where Gilgamesh and his buddy Enkidu go and slay the bull of heaven and go and say some mean words to the high priestess and then Enkidu gets the, okay? So somebody feels like your words are a little bit trifling and there's a money issue. However, Cancer feels like they're winning, okay? But there's some indecisions that are coming to the forefront, okay? They don't know how to move forward. The seventh could be important. You're ready for action. You're ready to move forward. You're tired of taking it easy. And Leo is not budging. They don't want to talk. And we need to heal this situation some way, somehow. Okay? Now, this is the goddess of El Sidiri. So I'm going to say probably drinking and doing this, not the best. The fifth is important. You are the six of pentacles. You're being fair. You're like, I'll do this if you do that. Okay? Okay? And Virgo hasn't made up their mind yet. Seven of cups. Ooh, okay. But we're going to go for it. I think you like it. <laughs> I think you like it, friend. The eight could be important. So you are not trying to rewrite the story or go down this path. And Libra is making it a little difficult for you. Communication is a little bit, mm, especially about some broken promises. The 11th could be important. Here you are as the eight of cups. You are tired of being neglected, okay? And Scorpio says, I need some foundation. Where are we moving? What are we doing? What's going on? We need love in this situation. Okay, we need to get back to feeling loved and appreciated. The 14th could be important. You're slowly, slowly moving towards Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is like chasing you. Like, damn it, come, on, come over here. Okay, and you're just like, mm, I don't know. I want to take my time. But there's love up in this house, okay? They know that you're the right one for them. The 14th could be very important. Here you are. This is my boys to man card. Okay, he's in the middle of the road. He's got all his love to give. All right, player, player, ready to give this cup away. All right, and Sagittarius. Capricorn. Oh, Capricorn is so lost and torn up without you, Gemini. They don't know what to do. They crying over spilled milk. And this is about stating your power and being magical and like really standing your ground, okay? The eighth could be important. You're not listening to your, your, your spirit guides and Aquarius isn't listening to their spirit guides 
And the solution is we need to be careful, okay? This is about uh, fruition. This is about wanting things to come out a certain way, the harvest. What does your spirit guide want you to know? Your healing heartbreak, toxicity and addiction. This could be a very abusive or a very cyclic, uh, like cycles relationship. And Aquarius is like, baby, I love you. Baby, I love you. I love you. <laughs> but it's like a little toxic, okay? So the 18th could be important. All right, Gemini. We got the king of cups. You're giving your love, giving your love, love, love. And Pisces is the king of pentacles. They want to invest in you, boo. All right, and the solution is something might not be working in the bedroom. It may not be passionate because y'all are butting heads as two kings. This king of cup is a hangman reverse. Like you're not sure about moving forward. And this king of pentacles is hurt about something. All right, and so it's like head to head. We're struggling. We're going to get through this. I don't know together though. All right, the second could be important. So that's what I have for you, love bugs. I hope you have a wonderful month. Be sure, be sure to come hang out with me on Instagram. Take care.